Good morning, Internet. Um, yeah, lovely sunny day today. Um, yeah, a bit cloudy in the sky, but it's good. We'll take it. Uh, right, a little job today on the wife's car, the convertible A3. Um, I warn you now, there is going to be a bit of waffling at the beginning, so if you don't like the waffle, then skip or do something else. Um, so, the car's been ultra-reliable. Not many problems, to be honest. Um, the only thing I've had to change recently is the secondary water pump, which was a video on that. Um, but we tend to use this car now for a lot of our travels, um, any distance travel anyway, because obviously it's economical, be it a diesel, uh, and it's reliable, and uh, why shouldn't we? Um, the problem it's got is it's got a very basic stereo in it, and uh, the stereo hasn't got sat-nav, which means we've got to use our phones. It becomes a bit of a faff. So let me show you what I've done. So, this is what I've purchased. Um, as you can see, the car does have a stereo in it already. It's got the Audi concept, which is perfectly fine, to be honest. Uh, plays music, does everything it needs to do. But the only problem is, um, we tend to use this car, as I said now, for a lot of travelling. So, it needs a sat-nav. And, uh, yeah, this should fit the bill. So, everybody loves a good unboxing. Let's have a quick look at what's inside. Ooh, apparently driving entertainment. Um, there you go. There's the uh, the company makes it. Xtrons, I guess you say it. User manual. Uh, yeah, might need that. Ooh, and we've got some fitting instructions as well. Yeah, this does have a Bose system, so yeah, we'll probably need that. Uh, get rid of that. And there you go. There it is. Hmm, excellent. All the wires and gubbins. And, yeah, looks like... Looks like I'm going to be busy. Right, first job then, get that one out. So, I've got the finger slices in place. Yeah, these are horrible things, but you need them for the Audi stereos. So let's give it a bit of a pull. And it actually pops. That was easy enough. There you go. So, what we've got on the back. Let's have a quick look. Hold on. So on the back, a couple of plugs. That one there for the, st the aerial. <laughs> Stereo, air aerial, and that one there for the power. Now to get these off, if I recall rightly, great camera work. Let's just spin it round. Okay, you basically, let's get you in a position you can see. The tab on the bottom, you pull that off, pull the lever up, and in theory, there you go, pops straight out. And that one, that one there, just pulls off. So uh, yeah, give me a second, let's get it off. And there you go, whole stereo out, not too difficult. So one plug there. Both of these have got clips on, so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. That one you just have to put your finger in till it clicks, pull straight off. Uh, as I showed you there, that one there is just a lever. Pull it up and it will pop out. Right, let's, um, let's have a look at this lot. So then when you follow this, you kind of get this. <laughs> It's a bit of a rat's nest, um, but most of it is self-explanatory. You have to hunt around a little bit to, to find the right ones. Um, but basically, if it's saying it's going out, it has to go into an input. Or if it's going from an input to an output, everything's good. Um, so, yeah, it's um, you just have to think a little bit, which um, yeah, is taxing at the best of times for some of us. But there you go. I've got all the harness together. So, um, right, let's get it connected up and get this stereo in and see what happens. So I have to say the clips on the back are not the best I've come across. They were a bit, well, we really feel a bit hit and miss, but um, they do click in in the end. Um, yeah, you just got to be uh, mindful and careful of them. But I think I've got everything connected up now as it needs to be. Uh, even got myself a little USB thing in there. Um, got the sat nav to put in yet, or the sat nav receiver to put in yet. So um, here we go. First turn of the key. What's going to happen? Nothing so far. Right, okay. That's doing absolutely nothing. Right, I best check my wiring. So I did mention the power cables weren't very great on this. Um, I don't think I have one clipped in properly. So, number two. Here we go. Switch on. Oh, I've got some noise. noise I particularly want to hear. Ooh, that's a lot of static. Right, well at least it's booting up. That's one So this thing. is me from the future cutting in. Um, yes, apparently when you've got an Audi with a bow system, 
more than likely you're going to need one of these as well. So you could see the, the block terminal that I clipped into earlier. That basically goes uh, into there and the other end goes into your uh, early fitment. But this has got a fuse box with a filter in it and it's also got um, these impedance something or others <laughs> that, that go onto the speaker system. Um, earth leakage or earth linkage. I'll, I'll, I'll try and put a description of it in the video itself. But yeah, you're going to need one of these and this stops all your static. Um, yeah, when I switch the ignition on though, it makes a lot of noise. Um, maybe I need a suppressor. But this is a good start. It is starting up. Have we got any... Nothing so far. Right, just doing an auto tune, see if that helps. I'm sure it will. Because no doubt the last time this was booted up, it was in China. It seems to be finding stuff. Classic, yeah, we don't want that. Pop music, heart, ooh, maybe. There you go, that's pretty quick going through here anyway. And it seems to be finding some channels. So, um, we got any sound? Oh! Let's see, have a little sound. Right, I'll turn that down because of copyrights. Right, that's um, I need to get the sat nav installed now, or the receiver installed, and um, yeah, get uh, get the stereo installed, and then we'll call it a day. So, as they say, that escalated quickly. <laughs> right, just trying to put the uh, the GPS signal up there. Um, I don't really want it sitting on top of the dash and looking ugly. So I'm trying to, at the moment, get a wire through there. Going to feed it down the post, behind the glove box there, straight into the stereo. Job done. Nice and tidy. Okay, so all wired up, all in place. Um, yeah, so the only tricky bit was really uh, figuring out where the wiring goes. But um, hmm, once you do that... It's not too bad. Uh, so now I've got to go around the menus, have a quick look around and see basically what I can find out. So at the moment I've only just used the uh, the radio. Um, let's try and go into the navigation. And you're already starting. Uh, I suppose you can set the Wi-Fi up as well, see if that works okay. But I've got a little bit of investigation to do because uh, yeah, this is all a bit, uh, bit new to me. But there you go, we've got heart locked in. And it, uh, yep, there you go, that's enough of that. Copyright and all that. But that works. Um, we've got the EQ just there. Uh, Going to have a little bit of a play around with that. Um, navigation. Let's see what that looks like. Google Maps. Um, it's not doing much at the moment, but I've only just connected it up. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right, I'm going to have a little bit of a play, but um, yeah, apart from the wiring, which is all a bit bizarre, but um, so if you do follow the uh, the instructions, it does tell you. Well, there you go. I think that's pretty much installed. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, trying to navigate the menus at the moment. Got the steering wheel controls set up. Uh, basically, for those, you go into settings, car infotainment, and then you can map them through there. So not particularly difficult um i've got the usb stick plugged in with some music on it that seems to play okay um now i'm going to start customizing and adding things in but um yeah that's about it uh, not much of a video i know but yeah it's um it's been a good day's work and, and we've got navigation for whenever we go anywhere now so thanks for watching and uh yeah catch you again soon